Hey there, welcome to the channel. Now, have you ever wondered how to turn your KDP low and medium content books into eBooks? Maybe you publish journals, planners, or other similar content on Amazon, and now you're curious about expanding into the digital market. Well, you're in the right place. I know firsthand how confusing it can be to navigate the process of converting your physical books into digital formats, and that's why I created this video to guide you through the steps and make it as straightforward as possible. Whether you publish journals, planners, notebooks, or any other type of low or medium content book on KDP, I've got you covered. We'll break down the process step by step so we can get you going in no time. So if you've been hesitant to take the leap into eBooks because it seems daunting or you just don't really know where to start, well, don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll have the knowledge and confidence to make the transition smoothly. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff, and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Okay, so for this tutorial, let's say we have this book already uploaded onto KDP. We have the paperback available for sale and it's an ABC Color and Trace Learning to Trace Kids activity book. And we wanna turn this into an ebook. How do we do that? So as you can see, this is the entire book. It's about 136 pages and we wanna turn this into an ebook. So basically what we wanna do is, well, if you go to Amazon and search for Kindle Create, this is a tool that they've created that makes it easy to convert your books, your paperback books into eBooks. And so they have a free download for PC. They also have a free download for Mac. So depending on what machine you're using, go ahead and download that program onto your computer. Now, once you've opened up the program, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna see you can create a new project right here. You can open an existing file. You can choose a file. There is a tutorial, a full tutorial right here. If you click here, you can go through that. We wanna just go ahead and create new. So if you double click here, it's gonna bring up this menu. It's gonna give you the option for a reflowable, a comic, or a print replica. So for our tutorial, we're only concerned about this print replica. So as you can see, it is mostly used for textbooks, cookbooks, magazines, and other image heavy books. You can format your fixed layout book from a PDF file for digital publication. And then you can see it's compatible with Kindle apps and devices. Now, all you have to do is click continue, and then it's gonna ask you to enter book details, which are optional. So for our book title, let's say we call it ABC Color and Trace. And then our author name, you can put whatever author name that you're using. And then a publisher if you're using a publisher. So after we've entered that, we wanna go ahead and choose our file. We're looking for the same file that we use when we published the paperback version. And right here, so if we open that, you can see that it's gone ahead and put it into this preview page. So this is very similar to when you preview a PDF, you can see all the pages right here on the side. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that all these pages are correct. If you need to rearrange pages, go ahead and rearrange pages. It's very easy. You can just drag and drop. Okay, but the one thing that you need to do is you need to delete blank pages because these blank pages will show up on an ebook. So go ahead and delete this. So it's very easy to delete this page. You just right click and then delete the selected page and make sure there's no blank pages in your document. Now, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and preview it. So click on preview, and then it's gonna come up with, with this preview page where we have some options. We can choose the device type, whether it be tablet or phone. So right now it's in a tablet view, and we can change the orientation. And so if we swipe through, we can look to see if everything is to our liking, if everything is correct. And then you can switch this into a phone view to see what it would look like on a phone. And you can see it in orientation mode. The tablet, do the same thing. And then if you're happy with all of this, you can just X out of this preview page. And then what we're gonna do now is one of two things. We can either include a table of contents or not include a table of contents. So you can go ahead and click this box if you wanna create a table of contents. And basically how this works is for whatever page you want to be in the table of contents, you go to that page and then you click the box and then you name it, you name the entry. So you can name this AA and then so on and so forth. 
But for this tutorial, we're not going to use table of contents. If you want me to make a video on how to do this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll go ahead and do that. So for now, we're going to just uncheck that box. And then what you want to do is you want to save this. And once you save it, go ahead and find a place to save it. And then it's going to save it as a KCB file, which means Kindle Create Book. So go ahead and save that. Okay, and then once we're done with that, we want to go ahead and just export it. This exporting, when you press this button, is going to create the file that you need to upload onto KDP so that you can submit the book. So once we have that, as you can see, it turns it into a .kpf file, which is what we need. And so go ahead and save that. And then it says your file is ready to publish. Upload your KPF file on Kindle Direct Publishing to publish an ebook on the Kindle store. So we press OK. So the next part is actually to create our ebook's cover image. So the ideal dimensions that Amazon wants is 2560 pixels in height and then 1600 pixels in width. So when you're creating your cover image, make sure that your document is set up properly using 2560 pixels in height and 1600 pixels in width. I've gone ahead and created the cover with those specifications. And this is the cover that we're going to use. Okay, so once we have the cover, we also have our KPF file. We can go ahead and go onto Kindle Direct Publishing so we can upload our book. Okay, so now that we're inside Kindle Direct Publishing, there's two ways to upload this ebook. Either you can create the book by pressing this button here, or you can go ahead and if you already have the paperback published, you can go ahead and look for your book. And then there'll be an option here to create the Kindle ebook, which is going to be able to link your ebook with the paperback version. But for this tutorial, let's go ahead and click on create here. We go ahead and click on Kindle ebook. And this is where we can put our ebook details. So the book title is done, ABC Color and Trace, subtitle activity book for kids. The author name, you can choose whatever author name that you want. Your description goes here. So when we save and continue, now it gives us the option to upload the manuscript and the Kindle ebook cover. So we go ahead and click this button. And we're going to look for the KPF file, which is right here. And now it's uploading. So now that that's been uploaded, we can go and upload our Kindle ebook cover. Now we can launch the cover creator, but since we've already made our cover, we can go ahead and upload this and keep in mind that they only accept JPG or TIFF files. So just know that when you're uploading your cover, you click that and then upload your cover file, which is right here. And once that's done, you go down. And then this is where we can launch the previewer. So as you can see, here's the preview. And we can go ahead and go through this and see if everything is correct. Now, the one thing that this previewer can't do is show you your cover image. You're just going to have to trust that your cover image was done correctly because there's no way to actually see it here. Now, when you're done, click back. And now your ebook is ready to be published. All you have to do is choose your pricing and then hit publish. With that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and hopefully you're able to implement it into your KDP low and medium content publishing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and let me know what kind of video you want to see me do next. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.